Konnichiwa, Hajime Mashti. Welcome to the 18th World Karate Championships from Tampere in Finland. Well, the Karate World Championships held every two years gather karatekas from over 100 countries. It's the most important event in the karate world and attracts the attention of all karate supporters, karatekas of all styles and disciplines. Well, joining me here is former champion European and British, Mr. Joe Long. Thanks for being here, Joe. No problem, Will. How are you? I'm very, very well indeed. We go straight into this for the final of the female team Carter. So, France goes in against Japan. Let's see what these two nations, both recognized globally for their expertise, both in Kumaiti and Kata, will bring to this event. Having got this far, obviously you'd expect Japan to perform exceptionally well. But France, a great martial arts nation, they're going to be wanting to uh, cause an upset here probably, here in Finland. Yeah, indeed he will. France, very, very, very strong in the kata and have been for many years. So this would be a very good, you know, very good semi, really. Well, final. So, say. France goes in against Japan. Now, they're just working out the finer aspects of their movements. In a sense, team... Carter is like synchronized swimming. Correct, Will. It's correct. It's, it's all to do with the timing, with the stances, and the actual uh, techniques thrown that they're all on time with each other. The synchronization of the team Carter, very important. Carter, something I enjoyed in my training days. It's uh, a combination of mind, spirit, and body. It's balletic in its form, but what Carter does is it encompasses all the movements and techniques of the style and puts them into a sequence whereby the karateka or practitioner can develop and practice these moves and strikes either singularly or as we'll see here in team. Now, Joe, what are the range of Carters open to them? The, 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 with, with this wheel there, the WKF, which is the World Karate Federation, would have a number of carters which they're allowed to choose from. And uh, obviously they've been used up in the rounds. I believe in the final that they will have a choice of, you know, to go back on a carter which they've already performed in the rounds or the semi-final, etc. Right. Well, the crowd getting restless here. It's been a terrific event thus far. The semi-finals really were very lively and indeed attracted a lot of crowd participation. Uh, believe it or not, there's an average of 30,000 live spectators during the four days that this competition runs. So that's incredible. So... Okay. Waiting to make their way onto the mat for the finals in the Team Carter. I don't know who's going to come up first here, who's been drawn first, whether it's France or Japan. It looks like Japan. As we can see there, Will, Japan wearing Akka in the, in the red, in the red tops, representing the red team. Uh, which seems to be a new, uh, a, a new bit of marketing the WKF have come out with. Looks good, you know, for, for, the, for the fans out there to, to explain it more, you know, more easy to the fans. So in the red we have Japan, and right. it looks like Japan going out number one. Yes, it does. Now we've seen them through the semi-finals perform Kank Show. We've seen them perform Pai Ku. Now. They've got a choice of either MP and uh, again, I think what we'll see is MP. The French team and, then, and again MP, the choice of Carters. Now I may be mistaken, we'll have to look and see what they finally choose, but uh, all the team members being announced. Yeah, 
So as you can hear, our MC here at this arena in Tampere, pointing out what uh, Joe Long has just said, that uh, the teams are recognised indeed by these colour vests, which uh, is a simpler way of identifying them, Joe. Yes, it's a new, it's a, it's a new, new piece of brand in the WKF have brought to the table, and it, it looks quite professional, Will. I'm quite impressed with it. So, karate's magnetism is reflected in both of its modes, highlighting the spectacular nature of the kumite, which is combat, and the elasticity and beauty, if you like, of the kata mode. As I say, kata, balletic in form, but deadly in nature. We're just uh, being introduced to our judges here. Indeed, as we can see in the middle there, Terry Pottage, the, the chief referee for Karate England. Uh, so it's good to see an English referee in the final. That's lovely. And what the head referee is doing now, Will, is just bowing off the competitors to the audience to show respect. Mm -hmm. And then we'll be starting. So the ray, the bow. Well, to the uninitiated, if you've ever seen synchronized swimming and wondered really at the incredible discipline, the incredible sense of unity that team members have, you will see all of that and more in the team Kumaiti, two very strong teams. France, a great martial arts nation, along with the Netherlands, along with the UK indeed. But Japan is always the benchmark, Joe. And I know that, you know, back in your days and back in my fighting days, whenever a Japanese team appeared on the card, it was always, oh, here they come, the Japanese. Let's see if we can measure up to that but I think that it has to be said in recent years European teams have put in such a brilliant effort most definitely will and, and Europe that the likes of Spain uh, Italy and France are leading the way now you know in, in comp competitive karate including Carter but let's see what Japan has to offer them and we'll take it from there Japan up first and they're looking very focused will I have to say that uh, they're all very well chosen because if you notice very little height differential between any of the karatekas here which makes for that uniformity and synchronization that the judges look for sure so france paying their respects but indeed as you say joe japan up first this the 18th world karate championships being held in tampere finland as always, Eurosport always endeavours to bring the best in the martial arts in whatever shape or form it takes. And this, the more traditional end of things, gives an insight into where all of the disciplines that you may see now on television began. So, Team Japan. Judges will be looking for speed, power, Ibuki, the breathing, but just look at this team here perform this NP Carter. So precise, the control and the total harmonization of mind, body, spirit. Carter contains elements of transcendental thinking, focus, breathing. The moves are designed as strikes 
in a combat situation. But yet you have stances held for long periods of time to develop dynamic tension and literally to draw together all the elements that the body can harness to allow it to perform at its peak. And as you can see here now, Japan demonstrating this with that team effort superbly. Oh, it's good, Joe. Very, very good, Will. Very impressive. And uh, and, and to the to the, the non karate spectator, oh, there's, there's hours and hours and hours of practice goes into this for the for the movements, for the breathing, for the timing, and for the strikes to be point precision timing you know and, and that's what we, what was displayed there now we're going to go into the bunkai of the movements which is an actual demonstration of how the the movements would relate in a combat situation yes so as we say it is balletic in form but combative by nature so now you'll see that whole carter broken down, if you like, freeze frame, strike by strike, to show just what those movements can do when interpreted through a combat situation. Correct, Will, and this is called the Bunkai. So if we look at uh, to, the, to the right of our screen, Will, the, the individual is performing the actual carter itself. And then in the middle of the mat, the competitor showing what the moves would actually do. So that in itself, a discipline that is incredibly technical because they're doing the complete reverse of what the carter involves, which is the strike and or the defense. But look at this. Japan are ripping it up gnarly style. This is terrific. It's like a one-shot freeze frame demonstrating the power the effectiveness of this as a martial art. Now, Western boxing, Western forms of martial art differ greatly from the East. And we can see that all these strikes are developed to take advantage of weaknesses in the physiology of the body. As we saw the side thrust kick come up Yokogeri Kokomi that foot is angled just at the throat and that's to demonstrate that even though the kick isn't powerful its target is a weakened area of the body so look at Japan go here this is absolutely brilliant there's the lock there's the break. Oh, it's good stuff, Joe. This team is spot on. Oh, tremendous, Will. And, and they're really creaming it now, the, J the, the Japanese. And the crowd, as we can hear, absolutely gets in behind them. Fantastic performance here from the Japanese female Carter team. And again, for many people that practice the martial arts and don't really understand the implications of Carter, I don't think you could get a better answer to any questions you may have. No, that definitely will. And that's what's happened in, in the previous years. About five to six years ago, they brought in the Bunkai, which is an explanation of, of the uh, techniques which are used during Carter. Whereas before in the 80s and, and, the, and the late 90s, it was just the carter performed. Now we can actually see what the carter does and what it represents. Exactly. And I think a lot of uh, clubs discounted the importance of carter in their training for more what was viewed to be relative combat skills, punching, kicking. What we see here now is the relevance because you're able to perform the carter on your own but this is its application. And of course, the benefits are not just in combat situation. We know that the benefits are health giving, 
their strengthening of the mind as well as preparing a karateka for a combat situation. That's correct, Will. And for any youngsters out there which are practicing karate, it's also great that you've got this involvement, you know, with young people practicing the bunkai of kata, and it increases their social development also. Yes. Well, as you say, it takes hours of practice for a team to perform this well. What we mustn't forget is to be your dancer or hold a black belt to be a Dan graded karateka, that in itself takes years of discipline, of training, sometimes maybe three to four times a week in order to attain your first Dan or black belt grading. But then, as was often said to me by my instructor, the black belt is only the beginning. And right. we can see here the hours of training just showing us what is achievable physically, mentally, and emotionally. Definitely, Will, and Japan, you know, provided us with every, every fraction of what you said there. Well, you know, I said it at the beginning of this, always in the old days, we always looked to Japan as the benchmark, and really, they set the standard high here. They have. And we get a chance to revisit the excellence, the precision, and really, it's like a ballet. It is, it is, Will, and it's very theatrical. Except the dancers hit each other. Well, you'd be unnerved going in after that performance, but they don't look it one little bit. Team France for the female Carter. And they, they know what they've got to beat now, Will. They've got to step their game up and they know what they've got to compete against. So within, within this situation, it's always, you know, preferable to be second out. So as they perform the Kata Anan, this is crisp. Joe, this is very crisp. The Japanese had more fluidity, but this is sharper. We can see the precision. It's a more explosive Kata all round, Will. This and, and I think we find a big jump coming up here which uh, the crowd should rise to the occasion for. Well, of course, there are many different styles of karate and uh, many different federations. Shotokan, Wadaru, Kempo, Kyokushinkai, to name but a few. That list is not exhaustive. Oh, we like the headbutt there. And um, many derivative styles as well that are formed from mainstream styles. But the Carters remain the same. The principles remain the same. They're getting some appreciation from the crowd. Definitely, Will. And, and as I said, this is, it's a more explosive Carter than, than Japan have performed. And uh, they're looking very sharp, the French, and, and I, I think this will be the telling point now when we look at the bunkai. And, uh, well, I have to say the fluidity of the Japanese karate, uh, the Japanese team kata was, was just unbelievable. But we've seen the speed and the power and the precision here. Oh, but it's good. Will, they've got off to a great, a great start here. And, you know, my money as we sit here right now is on France. Well... I suspect that it's very tense in both camps, but look at this. Well, of course, martial arts as an activity for women to engage in has always been open and always been there, but even more so we see the growth in it now as people want to exercise but also want to feel empowered 
and no more better activity to engage in for a myriad of positive reasons than a martial art. And the Japanese looking on because it is good. It's red hot. And I'm waiting for confirmation on information here. But I think that two members of the French team are indeed twins. And you'll see a similarity between the two competitors now. And if that is the case, well, you couldn't have a better basis for synchronicity. <laughs> Definitely will. And they are looking sharp as a team. As, as I say, he's, oh, great. Great effort, isn't it? Great. The, the timing all round, Will, is unbelievable, you know. T to get it this spot on, you know, takes hours and hours and hours of practice. And, you know, it's great to watch. I have to say, I never took part in a Team Carter event. And um, I enjoyed Carter immensely and still practice it today. And I find it incredibly beneficial. And as time has gone on, and I've discovered more areas of Eastern philosophies, like Qigong, like yoga. I see the similarity in the movements and the stances and the health-giving benefits. And um, yeah, I'm glad that uh, I'm still able to perform these wonderful, wonderful choreographed set pieces well there is going to be nothing easy about the judges choice here it's all down to the judges now will they call it as they see it difficult 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 task ahead of them the, the head referee as we can see in the background being called over to the main table what for we don't know <laughs> but so, so obviously a, a lot of changes happen in carter you know throughout you know throughout the time so uh, you have to be bang up to date with the latest moves. I know, to my detriment really, because all my carters have changed and I can't be bothered to learn them. I'm too set in my ways, but they're having a conflab. And, and, and this is what I, I would gather this is about. This could be something as simple as a hand position, you know, whether it's yes. higher or lower, yes. or the movement of a foot, whether the heel's gone in or the toe's gone out. Yes. You know, very, you know, very small detail, but that's what could, could give the difference, you know, between a, a victory or a loss. Oh, the blue have got it. Is it France? It is indeed. You were right, you were bang on. Uh, that was such a difficult performance to beat the Japanese. And France has got it. They have. <laughs> that is just unbelievable. They don't look that happy. Or have they got it, Will? Because they're not looking like world champions to me at the moment. The referee raised the blue flag, which indicated that France won. But they don't look like winners. Well, controversy. They are. They're world champions. Maybe there's just something that's particularly <laughs> grim about <laughs> their attitude. But the uh, Japanese gracious in, in defeat. And uh, the French bewildered in victory. But I think when you're in a zone, you're in a zone. And that's difficult to come out of. And that's obviously where they're at. Well, there is an expression that does spring to mind, and that's crack up your face and give us a smile. We'd like to see some <laughs> elements of victory and joy. But uh, do you have to after this performance? Look at that. It's superlative. Tremendous. And, and I'll be very intrigued, Will, to find out from Terry Pottage, the, the England referee, what, what the actual controversy was about, because uh, obviously it meant something to both teams. Yes. And you're right, I think it was probably something very small. We know that karate as a martial art is developing and changing all the time to adapt. That's its very nature. And um, as demands are made by it, on it by its practitioners, oh yeah, there's a conflab there in the J Japan team. And um, we know that it's a developing fluid activity to engage in. And I, I know for a fact that... Uh, 
I'm just listening to see if there is a changing that decision. No, it's France all the way. Yeah, and uh, as, as it develops, movements change and stance positions, very subtle differences to keep it up to date. And you're right, if you're out of touch, you're out of the game. Well, I don't think anyone could really say that... Uh, uh, France didn't deserve that. In fact, they did. But the same could be said about Japan. It's a close call. We're going to have a quick commercial break and we're going to bring you more karate action from Finland after these. Welcome back to this live event, the World Karate Championships, coming from Tempere in Finland. I welcome you this afternoon. Konnichiwa. I'm Sensei Will Vanders and I'm joined by Sensei Joe Long. We've just brought you an incredible display from both teams. The Japan Team Carter and the French Team Carter. The French taking the World Championships. But I just look at the slow-mo here of both these teams and you cannot fault this performance. It is superlative with a capital soup. Uh, Mind-boggling stuff. And just a bit of confusion at the end because uh, it looked as if the French hadn't got the result they'd wanted. We were confused, but as we said at the end, we think that it was just more to do with the fact that they were in such a zone and in such a, a mental and spiritual place to be able to perform like that that obviously smiling you know wasn't on the agenda <laughs> it wasn't will but uh, you know the french have got a lot to live up to and uh, they, they've cracked the medal table this weekend at the world championships and, and and they're the first gold medal for france and i'm sure that they're going to be hunting a lot more gold medals over this weekend that's right as we bring it to your life yeah absolutely stay tuned with us because we hope to be bringing you the male team carter as the announcements are made but uh, eurosport 2 will be bringing you this event live over the next coming days right up until next tuesday or wednesday right through sunday tomorrow and of course saturday and uh, just making their way out now the men's Carter team as we see Italy in blue will represented by Al which means blue in Japanese and Aka France in red so two European countries taking play taking part in this special unique event Italy versus France as you said earlier Joe Italy emerging as a very very strong player in all disciplines in martial arts across the board but uh, certainly they've been very strong at the world championships for a number of years now they have definitely but both Italy and France have I would say France has got the upper hand in in, in uh, Carter results over the years and obviously what a boost the ladies winning the the female team you know just beforehand so France are going to be coming into this on a real high exactly and uh, it's just worth mentioning that over the next couple of days we'll be bringing you over 1,000 competitors. And uh, that's just an amazing feat for an amateur organization to bring competitors from all over the world to compete here in Finland. And no greater, greater uh, physical activity than the sport of karate. So the judges just being introduced again. There we have Japan, USA, Peru, New Zealand and Australia. So uh, France in for a hard one now, Will Japan, head referee. <laughs> and they've just lost in the final to the females. Yeah, so Minoru Kanazawa will have to be as impartial as impartial can be. Most definitely. And people will be looking at that, believe me, in the audience. <laughs> so this four-day spectacle... 17 competition categories and you have to applaud the joint effort by the World Karate Federation and the Finnish Karate Federation and indeed our big thanks to the city of Tampere for hosting this event 
and uh, it's the first time that the Karate World Champions have been held in the Nordic countries and this is Finland's largest sports event in 2006 so that means the martial arts are on the up and up but I won't talk over this because France in first and let's see what Carter they will be performing these guys probably will have been practicing this for the last two years because the world championship happens bi-yearly yeah so uh for the last two years th this has probably been their main focus for training up until this minute right here Good show, show! well again The men at this final having to display all the skills that the women did. And it's not just about strength. Again, just to remind you, this is about focus, precision, because the physiology of the human body has weaknesses and karate, as a martial art, seeks to exploit those. And that's why an exponent of this practice can almost appear superhuman because they're taking advantage of elements in the physiology of the body that are weak. And all these strikes you'll see are designed. Very different from Western fighting, where blows are targeted to heavy and strong parts of the body like the skull the rib cage all of these knife thrusts these open hands the uh, sh back f uh, i don't want to use the japanese terminology for the non-japanese or, or, or non-karate practitioners that, that are viewing but um, the open hand knife edge are all designed to exploit those weaknesses in the human physiology but this is good this is very good very deep stance very strong performance by the French there Will and as we can hear the crowd crowd behind them Personally, I, I, I thought that the ladies, the ladies team was a bit sharper than, than the guys, you know, look, look, looking at their last performance, but a very strong performance. And as we said before, the, the Italians know what they've got to deal with now. So, you know, it, it, it's all, all, always been beneficial to be second out in, in the Carter final. <laughs> Gone. So over to the Bunkai, which as we explained earlier, is the physical application of these movements and one person of course will be performing the kata the other person performing the attacks oh that's good the sweep down with the punch Lost his balance slightly there on the block wheel. I don't know if you see. Is he? Is he? Is he? Is he blocked down? His foot moved, which could actually deduct points for for the for the French. Well, it's hard to be spot on and perfect when you look at what's trying to be achieved here. But again, we've said that precision is what's required here. Most definitely, and a movement of the foot, could, you know, could cost you the actual the actual final. That's how, you know, detailed these finals are. And what a great takedown we see there.
strong, strong performance. And of course, physically demanding as well. They've been performing this for over five minutes and to remain that precise and expend that amount of energy is a real challenge and call on physical and mental strength. Most definitely will. The crowd liked it and the crowd are behind them. But as I say, Italy now know what they've got to work with and we shall see what they come with. Well, as you say, there were a couple of technical errors, but I think in the giant scheme of things, when you look at the techniques that are being performed and really, you know, the weight of a male attacker, take that into account when performing one of those techniques and you've got to have a margin or a degree of technical error Most definitely within will. that. The fluidity cannot always remain, but we get a chance to re-examine it here in the slow-mo. And I think what's so wonderful about looking at Carter in slow motion, just its sheer majestic This is the Italian team. This is the final in the World Karate Championships. And again, good synchronization here, Joe. Indeed, he will. It's looking very close, isn't it? Yeah. The synchronization plays a huge part. And we see it from that camera angle through the eyes of the French team. The Italians looking very, very strong. They are looking strong, Will, aren't they? And they're looking, they're looking physically strong as well, you know? Yes. And I have to say that the precision aspect of this seems to favour the Italians. It's a much slower carter, much more power-oriented. And because we're seeing much more fluid stronger, slower movements, I think that may be giving us the appearance that they're much better synchronized. It's definitely a close call, Will. It's definitely going to be a close call, this one. I would not like to be sitting on that judges' panel right now. For me, it's Italy thus far on that performance. I think it had all the elements there, and we can see the faces of the crowd shaking their heads. It's so close. At this level, you'd expect it to be, but that was a fine performance from Italy. Now we go to the Bunkai, and we see that Carter explained, if you like, by showing it mechanisms and applications in a combat situation and uh, I was about to say earlier on before this demonstration started that the majestic balletic elements of Carter particularly shown in slow motion you see the design of the strikes oh that was superb the Italians are going to work, Will. They're definitely going to work. The crowd are behind them. I think it's, it's cleaning up time now for the Italians. They are sparkling here tonight. Oh, again, precision. 
And I was going to say that if you look at these strikes very carefully, and you can imagine uh, these practitioners wearing Japanese armour, which of course had weaknesses where the armour joined, and you can see the design behind all these strikes, again, taking advantage of weaknesses in the physiology of the body. But uh, karate literally means open hand, empty hand, no weapon. And uh, developed for landowners and farmers to protect themselves from feudal warlords. A lot of the implements used in the martial arts are indeed domestic implements but developed to be used as weapons. Not that you need it with empty hand because it's being demonstrated here to the nth degree by the Italian Carter team. Just how effective the skills employed are. Oh, it's good. Oh, and what a finish there, Will. What a finish by the Italians. And as we can hear the crowd, as you get at every European Championships and every World Championships, the sound which can haunt you sometimes, especially if you've lost to an Italian, the Italia, <laughs> running in the background. I'm going to go with the Italians for this one, Will. Certainly, I think there's by a country mile. It really is. They've impressed me no end here. They'll be pleased with that. And uh, France, superb performance. We did pick up on a few technical issues. Uh, they were minuscule. I didn't think they'd come into play. I may yet be proven wrong here, but I just think Italy were bang on the money. <laughs> Forza Italia. <laughs> So the world champions from Italy congratulate their opponents, gracious in victory, and France, gracious in defeat. But Italy are the new men's Team Carter world champions. And they look a little bit more happier than the ladies French team will with their win. Well, yes. <laughs> so a quick commercial break before we continue and we hope to bring you some kumaiti after the break. After these brief messages, we'll rejoin. Stay tuned, and we'll speak to you later. Well, welcome back to Finland for this, the World Championship Karate Tournament in Tampere, the 18th held every two years and has been since 1970. I'm Sensei Will van der I'm joined by former competitor and indeed champion, Joe Long. Joe, you yourself have a huge karate tournament that's uh, held in the UK. Yes, we all indeed. We, ju we just finished the 10K Karate Clash, which was won this year by Jason Legister. Uh, from Birmingham in, in the UK and Jason will be out in Finland uh, going for the lightweight title. Yeah, I know, and uh, we've been speaking to some team members, but uh, we've got a little bit of an interview coming up here with the Italian. He said, uh, yeah, we trained very hard for that. And what a relief now it's over. Indeed, they was there with a uh, former Italian team member who actually used to compete with Benatello. Oh, uh, right. He, he was world heavyweight champion. And uh, unfortunately, Will, I've heard the, uh, the rings in my ears of Italia being sung to me when I've lost to Benatello. Oh, really? <laughs> but yeah, good guy Benatello. He's, he's a, a big benchmark for uh, Italian karate. And as we see him interviewing the guys there. Fantastic. Well, they said they were relieved it was over, <laughs> and um, I can understand that. The amount of tension, uh, just incredible here. And really, uh, uh, the Team Carter just has to rank alongside synchronized swimming, figure skating. Uh, I mean, as 
a discipline in itself, aside from Kumite, aside from any martial or combat elements, in its own right, it deserves to be recognised as a sport. I mean, just to Definitely. watch it is like listening to Pavarotti. Definitely, Will, and time does fly when you when you watch it. You know, the time's flown watching them two, two uh, team finals, and uh, it is the fundamentals of the sport. That yeah. is exactly what it is. It's the fundamentals of karate. It's the basic movements of karate. Well, the Italian team there, high five in it. All over the shop. Alto Cinque, as they make their way out of the arena, and we get ready, indeed, for, we hope, the female finals of the team Kumite. Kumite, translated directly, means combat. So here you will see the application in a competitive situation and still they're giving it up for the Italians and there's always a good spirit in uh, any European or world championships will uh, especially with the European countries you know there, there's a good a good relationship with the Italians, with the with the Spanish, with the French, and, and also with the English team, you know? A lot of these fighters have known each other for a number of years, and these competitors have known each other for a number of years, and all respect each other. You know, they've had their wins and their losses in front of each other. And uh, this is replicated by, you know, the, the scenes we see with the crowds now. And we just get a chance again to revisit the brilliance of the men's team Carter and the female team Carter. And uh, the Bunkai showing the application. And um, beautiful city, Tempere. It's the biggest inland city in Scandinavia. Scandinavia. And uh, that statistic I gave you earlier is fantastic that it's going to be this Karate Championships is going to be Finland's largest sporting event in 2006. And. Um, Lots of modern sports practiced here, so the fact that uh, karate is top of the list is uh, very heartening indeed. And there we see the side thrust kick delivered with that angled foot straight into the neck area, of course. And uh, going back to my ramblings earlier about Japanese army uh, armor, if you angle that kick at uh, an opponent that would be straight between his helmet and his breastplate it would be the weak point of the armor and indeed done at an angle you could unseat a horseman so all of these applications go back in history uh, they're steeped in history in fact back to feudal times and um, camera focusing on uh, a competitor there that's uh, a bit worse for wear <laughs> camera focusing on the focusing on the spanish team there there will and the spanish entourage So, we're just waiting for the teams to make their entrance now. And incredibly international this event with entrance from the Czech Republic, Spain, the USA, Malaysia, Canada, Brazil, Montenegro, Croatia, Belarus, Japan, Austria, Peru, Germany, Turkey, Hong Kong, Italy, Indonesia, Macau, Russia. An incredible international lineup here, really encompassing all of the globe, well, most of the globe, really. And um, some countries there that uh, really you wouldn't associate with the martial arts Peru. Uh, Malaysia, particularly karate, Malaysia having its own martial arts.
Indeed he will, and what we've, we've seen over the, the recent years is your countries like Russia have really come to the forefront of competitive karate. Yes. You, you know, you, you, your Russians and your, your British Slavas, etc, etc, have really come to the forefront. And them guys are hard, you know, they've got, you know, they, they want for a lot, and, and they've been coming in and causing a lot of upsets with the Europeans. Yep. As did the Europeans do in the 80s, you know? Against the Japanese, that's exactly. right. Exactly. And of course... Uh, very competitive, both nations in fact, Belarus and uh, Belarusia and uh, Russia indeed. But that's, I think that's across the board with their, all the, all the different martial arts. You know, Russia has, has really emerged as a strong contender, but not today and not uh, in the Team Carter in any event. So there's the Japan team. And the French team. And the uh, third runners up, the team from Spain. Yes, indeed, Ian. And uh, Spain beat uh, Croatia in, in the repercharge system, will to take the third place. Spain. So there we go. We have the Spanish ladies team. Looking very well, by the way. Yeah, and uh, they look very pleased. I mean, any pole position really is a win. And uh, they are third runners up here. And they take the podium. And they are pleased with that. As indeed they should be. Great achievement when you think of the amount of nations competing here and how difficult to reach the finals in such uh, a particular and extremely difficult discipline. There's the Peruvian team. The fourth runners up. And as I said before, it seems incredible that Peru is uh, a nation that's uh, posing a threat here at these events because it's not a nation that's normally associated with uh, the practice of karate. Of course, we know that it's, it's a worldwide sport practiced internationally, but uh, great to see them there. The Japan female team, what a performance they put in here today. Do you know what? I, I mean, France won, but for me, Japan were hot, red hot, and uh, uh, maybe a slight element of disappointment there, and I could understand why, because that was terrifically close. Oh, it was, Will. Def definitely a close final, and, and that's what you want in a final. You know, that that's what's got both teams there, and it, it's always a tight one, whether it's uh, the Carter or the Kumite. Most of the finals are tighter than the rounds or the semi-finals. Yeah. You know, and great final we had there with France and Japan. So Japan taking second place. But here you have them. France. There we have France. First gold medals for this year's WKF World Championships, Will. And I'm sure it won't be the first gold medal they put on their roster this weekend. No, it won't be the last one. <laughs> There's uh, definitely, I'm still waiting for information here, but uh, we, we do think that these are twin sisters. And obviously, in a synchronized event, having twins can make a huge difference for obvious reasons but uh, what a superb performance from the girls and uh, yeah they look a slightly uh, a, little, a little bit happier than they did than after winning the event <laughs> well I think maybe they were shocked actually but uh, you have to get in the zone to perform at that level and then to uh, you know bring on the smiles for the cameras again not something that can be done, like turning a tanker on a sixpence. There we go. And we just see An Mr. Antonio Espinos, uh, the president of the WKF, who's also president of the uh, Spanish Federation, handing out the medals there uh, for the winning team, France.
Well, now we see the emotion. It's all, it's all coming out now. Well, as I said, probably two years hard graft, hard sweat, tears, you know, and a lot of time and effort gone into getting to this final and uh, they're reaping their rewards and you know i'm gonna say it this is uh, maybe just a little bit uh, controversial but i will guarantee that they will have a hero's welcome when they return to france and um, you know it's just indicative of the way that the martial arts is supported on the european continent and um, you know i, I just think that's in the UK, we could probably get behind our players, no matter what sport or discipline they're involved in, and uh, give them some support. But uh, no doubt a hero's welcome is due, and uh, I would suspect a hero's welcome will happen for Team France for the female Carter. And they look overjoyed. So the world champions there in the Team Carter. So there you have it, Peru, Spain, Japan, France, all taking advantage of the photo opportunity here, and the camaraderie between all the competitors here has just been absolutely overwhelming. There is, you know, a sisterhood and a fraternity between the competitors that uh, lasts all your life, as you know, Joe. Most definitely, Will. I mean, you know, still keeping contact with competitors from many years ago. And, uh, you know, especially when you're competing alongside the, the, these guys or, or, or ladies, you know, you, you form a bond which, which is unbreakable, really. You know, and that, that's in any sport across the board, especially yes. when you're competing internationally. But Finland playing a nice host for this World Championships, Will. It's, the arena's looking nice. It is very well turned out. And, uh, as I say, incredible statistic that, indeed... It's the largest sporting event of 2006 in Finland, and so they've taken it very seriously, and uh, it's nice to see. So often, a lot of events could go under the radar because they're not supported or because they don't figure in the giant scheme of things in a country that has a lot of sporting fixtures. No, but definitely. Uh, Finland definitely grasp the metal here and uh, put on a great 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 event so we hope to bring you the female team komaiti just after the medals for the men's team carter italy of course the winners of that the world champions Egypt and Japan, you'd always suspect that the Japanese would be lurking in there somewhere, and indeed they are. They are the third runners-up, and the fourth runners-up are Team Egypt. And the Middle East, of course, is uh, the Gulf states, um, hugely emerging now as uh, traditional practitioners of karate. And uh, I know from my own experience that the Kyokushin Federation very very well established out there as is the WKF exactly so team Egypt accepting their medals and as with the uh, females will it's lovely to see you know uh, you know like Peru and Egypt take take get, get up into the medal table yes yes really I mean you know I'm not wholly surprised that they're competing but certainly taking medals and uh, you know brilliant brilliant effort and brilliant performance and as we see once again will uh, the president of the WKF Mr. Antonio Espinos handing out the medals there. Mr. Espinos also uh, president of the Spanish body, Spanish Karate Federation, and been doing a good job for a number of years in promoting karate on the, 
on a worldwide basis. That is the man who oversees this event and makes sure it all happens. Well, it's a job well done. So there's Team France, who of course were the runners-up, second place takers, and they get their silver medals. Relieved it's over now, Will. They're happy with the second place, it's all over. Well, yeah, and I mean, for the ladies to take first, for the men's to take second, it's been a big day here for France. Most definitely. Most and uh, definitely. they'll all be welcomed back on that open top bus round Paris, I would suspect, as heroes, because they are world champions. And uh, to take on the Japanese and beat them, fantastic. Indeed, and, and now they've got the, most of the, 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 the Carter competitors will now enjoy the rest of the weekend and support, support the Kumite throughout the weekend. So yeah. they can relax now from Friday to Sunday. Well, there's Team Italy smiling with glee. What a superb performance it was. I mean, it was Italy by a country mile. They were solid, technical focused and the synchronicity between these three guys is just uh, legion i wouldn't imagine if they all have the same dreams <laughs> <laughs> well I, I wouldn't mind going into a bar with them will and asking for a drink uh, i think a treble had come up yeah, i think so <laughs> but uh, no, they, they would respond <laughs> in kind but they, they was very very strong you know that their physical attributes towards that carter was you know it it, it, it had a lot of presence yeah Yes, presence is the word. It was very dynamic. They were there. They were in the moment. And uh, I think the judges recognised that. Good performance from France. But there were a few technical errors. You could forgive that of the Italians, actually. But they didn't have them there. It was strong. It was solid. And uh, as we hear the Italian national anthem now, they'll be going back to, indeed, uh, a long list of Italian winners. Italian, uh, it Italy are having a great run at the moment. The World Cup and now the Karate World Championships. So um, Italy is making room on the mantelpiece, as it were, for these cups and medals. Well, you can't excel at everything, and uh, certainly. <laughs> As far as Carter's concerned, they're untouchable. But um, I don't think I'd refer to them as the three tenors. <laughs> Maybe the three nine and a half quids. But uh, <laughs> the three nine pound fifties, but they done well and they took gold. Yeah, and no one's going to tell them. <laughs> Ciao, mama. Fantastico. Okay. Gruppo Italiani, there we go. Italy with gold on the tables, French with silver, Egypt beating the Japanese as third runners up and fourth runners up Japan with bronze. We've got a quick commercial break. Don't go away, stay right here for more. Matt action. So there's the medal standings thus far here in Tempiri, Finland, 2006 for the World Karate Championships. After two events, they, they, there they were. Very good news for France there. And uh, Italy, again, not bad news. So the team Komaiti. And first up, the females. Now, very tricky scoring involved in the committee, isn't it, uh, Joe? Yes, def de de definitely. Will we have the, uh, the the teams out here? We, we have uh, Spain and Japan lining up. Uh, we should, but basically, there, there's there's three scoring points: one point, two points, and three points. So that's what we're looking for, and we'll break it down. Uh, you know, uh, Ippon, uh, Neon, uh, 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 and Sambon which is one, two or three points. No Waziri, no half points. No half points anymore, Will. That's back in the 70s, and I know you're getting old. <laughs> <laughs> they used to call me Disco Dan. <laughs> Disco Dan no more. Yes. So as we see in the blue. Al, which represents blue. 
Switzerland. Here we have our referees and judges being presented. Head referee from the USA. And here, here we're with the ladies team. Uh, it's three in a team, uh, which makes it a little bit more exciting. With the men's, it's five in a team. But ladies is always a, a team of three, which brings me on nicely to this year's three-on-three -three championships happening on the uh, 10th of December at in, a, in, a, in the city of London, uh, presented by Fighters Inc. It's the 10th and final year of this year's three-on-three -three championship, Will. So... This is what you can expect, but three man teams. Here we have the ladies final, three ladies in the team. So Casanova for Spain and Arai of Japan. So just for the uninitiated, Joe, can you explain how long the rounds last and what's the object of the exercise? Uh, the, the, it's very simple, Will. You hit them and you don't get hit. And as we can see here on, you know, on, on the clock on the screen, two-minute fight. So the idea is for you to hit them and you not to get hit. Simple as that. And they're words from our very own Tiki Donovan OBE. <laughs> And as we can see, Japan just waiting, Will, you know, looks like a, a defensive fighter, Japan waiting. And as you see, she went underneath there with the punch to the stomach, waited, took her time, went underneath with the punch to the stomach. As we see in the slow-mo. Ippon, very clean. So that's 1-0 to Japan, 1-0 up to the Reds. Well, we heard some clapping from the audience, the Spanish contingent behind Casanova here. And we heard that flamenco type clapping just to let her know that they're in attendance and in support. As we can see, the, uh, the the weight difference here, Will. You know, Casanova, uh, probably a, a weight above, or two weights above. It's an open weight competition in the team, so you could a heavyweight can fight a lightweight. Well, that's useful, Joe, because quite clearly there's a discrepancy here. But uh, all's fair in love and war, and um, that's what makes the team event so exciting, because you really have to be creative. But uh, in red, Japan, in blue... Espana. That's right, and now we're heading to the last 30 seconds of the fight. And Japan's took it, you know, reversed the role and, and, and took it to Spain and picked up another point along the way with a reverse punch over the top. So Giyakazuki Chudan. Jodan will to the face. Jodan. Yep, to the face. Oh, and that was a sharp point by Spain. Reverse punch to the stomach. Yeah, and it should, it should really liven up in these last, th these dying seconds. Spain needs to go out and get the points. 2-1 to Japan as we stand. And the clock's counting down. Indeedy. Did Spain hit over the top there? No score. That's it. And I think we find Will. Japan scored that last point. Has the referee scored it or not? No, he didn't. He but didn't. still, the job's done. It's 2-1 to Arai of Japan. So, and here we have Cristina from Spain. Coming out to pull it back for Spain. So, Japan 1-0 up in the women's female team final. This is the committee. And the order of... Uh, and the, the order w which the fighters go out will very integral, you know. It, it, it's, it's like a football match, you know. What, what formation you're going to play. Yeah. You know, it's very integral, in, in especially at, at this level. You know, it's all a game plan. So, for what we know, Spain could have put out the weakest fighter first and pick it up in the last two. We shall see. So, the strategy, just as important as the actual committee. And here we see a much livelier pair. That's right. Cristina Feo of Spain getting tangled up there with Araga of Japan. Cristina, a very aggressive fighter, Will. As we can see, she's not afraid to come forward, but it looks like she got picked off there with a reverse punch. Into well, the stomach, yeah. Giyakazuki Chudan. Whoa. Great timing there from uh, Araga from Japan. 
and she's 1-0 up. Well, Feo may be aggressive, but the Japanese players here are calculating, very precise. Has she pulled it back or does it go to Japan? Obviously, there's a lot of postulating after uh, an engagement like that. And um, she didn't actually get the point. She didn't, and it's this 2-0 up to Araga from Japan. And as we know, Will, you know, it goes on wins. The, 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 the final goes on wins, and there's another reverse punch from Araga from Japan. And, and Christina here now only got one minute and seven seconds left, Will. She's been given a warning, uh, which I believe was for grabbing. So but she needs to get the points back to get Spain back in the whole match. It's still doable. Because if Araga takes this, then, then it, it's a Japan win. Yeah. Well, she's looking comfortably in the lead. And look at the footwork. She's really staying out of trouble. That was a good side kick. And I have to say, I would have scored that. But uh, it hasn't been... Christina's starting to look a little frustrated now because she's hit with a couple of points which haven't been scored. And uh, and she's used to getting her points. <laughs> to be honest, Will, she's yeah. a, she, you know she's a great fighter on the international circuit all the time. And as you said, that 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 uh, side kick there could have possibly scored. Going into the last 30 seconds, and we're going to see it heat up here now, Will. It's a great tactic here that the Japanese are employing. They're standing off, trying to get it in on the counter. Oh, it was good. I would have scored it red. That judge did there, but uh, not enough response from the referee. Oh, it's heating up, and as the clock ticks away, it's all against Team Spain. It is indeed, he will, and Christina's starting to, you know, to, to, to throw her techniques quite wildly. And Japan are just staying composed. She's staying there and hitting with the simple points. Well, with three points here three ippons it's an uphill struggle now for team spain christina feo is just going to have to accept that the clock was against her as well as the skill and strategy of the japanese team the frustrations showing oh it's written all over her face japan have done it great 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 win for japan will and they've pulled it back round for the carter so it's even stevens europe and japan now well, we're going to have to leave you, but we'll be bringing you more action from Tempere. So, uh, we'll be bringing you more action from Tempere over the next few days. Tune in early afternoon for more from the World Champions Championship. But uh, Japan take that team event in the female comité. Till tomorrow, take care of yourselves. We'll speak to you then. Bye.